Hello, everyone. Glenda Bollard here, and welcome to my craft room tonight. I have the hippest hippos on my craft table, and I am just getting set up over here on Facebook. I sorry, I'm a one minute late. We were having a video conference, video call with our granddaughter up north. Okay, go to a group. Go to a group. Post in the group. All right, there we are. It's going. Now we'll see. See if anybody shows up. There is Norma. Hello. Yay. That always means it's a good sign when somebody says hi because it means I'm up and running and carrying on. Okay. Let's watch for. more comments all right so yeah our our uh, granddaughter decided that she wanted to give us a call so sorry she does take precedence <laughs> all right so i'll switch you over there we go so i have the hippest hippos on my table tonight my friend leanne did a hippo card and then she went on and made one in every color and i liked it so much <laughs> i liked it so much that i decided to case her now i did change hers went this way and she did a couple of different things but i really like how these turned out so i did one in every color oh, thanks norma not very many things will stop me from going live on time besides sickness, but grandchildren is one of them. Even my children don't rate like that. It's, grandchildren can always make me stop. Okay, so I did one in every color. This is the parakeet party one. Do you see the the mask and the snorkel? Now, I'm going to try and show you what you may not be able to see is the mask actually has. There you go. See, it's got plastic in it. It looks like a real snork, a real mask. Is that cool? I paired it with the, what's it called? Biggest Wish stamp set because when Leanne did it, she used Amazing Phrasing which is a celebration set, and I hadn't gotten it yet. I do now. She used the hay. So I thought that the biggest wish would work well with this one, and it did. So let me take my recipe off so I can carry on. So I used the in-color glimmer paper, and then this, this is the inside. So when I cut this out you end up with a strip that is let me just see what size it is it is oh, come on three quarters of an inch by the time you cut off this five and a quarter then you get three quarters of an inch so i put it on the inside and look at look at this one winking isn't that cute i love this stamp set and it comes with its own dies so here's the starry sky one. I did exactly the same thing. It has plastic in the mask as well. And the same on the inside. Hey, Janet. And then I used starry sky. There's plastic on that as well. And I'm going to show you a trick for, because as you know, getting plastic on there is going to be a little hard because how would you ever put the adhesive in there? So I'm going to show you a trick so that you can't really see where the adhesive is. Do you see? Even way up close, you can't really see where the adhesive is. And then there's the inside of that one. And finally, Tahitian Tide. See how cute they look in all of the colors? And there's the inside of that one as well. So that's what we're going to do with Orchid Oasis. Okay. 
envelope. So to do this card, you need a card base that is five and a quarter, five and a half by eight and a half folded in half. An inside piece that is five and a quarter by four. Thanks, Janet. A piece of designer series paper that's five and a quarter by four. So now I'm going to need input dots or plaid. Dots or plaid. I'll ask you a couple of times. Then I have a piece of glimmer paper that's three by four and a piece of glimmer paper that is that is two and a half by two and that's for the bits and that's all um orchid oasis plaid there's a the cutoff piece see it's cut off from this end so that makes six inches now i've still got a two inch strip of this paper that i can use for something else and then I have a piece of basic white that is two and a half by three and a half. And I'm going to cut it with the deckled rectangle dies. And I have another piece that is two and a half by one and three quarter. And that's for the sentiment. Then I have another piece that is three and three quarters by one and a half. And I'm going to do the I was going to say an elephant but that's not an elephant nope that's a hippopotamus and a piece a scrap of parakeet party for the stems a scrap of sweet sorbet for the flowers and then a scrap of this for something oh for the water so I'm using I know it looks really close to the parakeet party Oh, no, the, sorry, the Orchid Oasis. Yes, Jan, absolutely use the two-inch stripe on the envelope. That would work. So this looks really close, but it's not. This is a piece of the starry sky. It's a little difficult to tell the difference between those two, but I know where I got it from. And then a scrap of um, window sheet. So if you can see on there, can you see on the window sheet that line sort of thing? So when I get in, um, when you get in a photopolymer stamp set. Oh, no, Holly. If, when you get in a photopolymer stamp set, the, the photopolymer stamps are on um a rigid sheet uh, went like a window sheet and then have a flexible one on top. I save those because you can clean them and use them for uh, window sheets. And I will show you how to clean that. And then I have some in color dots, in color matte dots. So I'm going to show you first of all, how to clean that paper so that it will dry or the window sheet so it dries before I need to use it. Okay, so this window sheet has, oops, apparently it's alive too. Can I, can you see the, maybe not. I'm trying to show you the, the line that's on there. Maybe if I put it on some white. Hey, Peggy. I put it on white. Can you see there? Can you see the line that's on there? That's the outline of the stamp that's been stuck on there. So just take a little bit of hand sanitizer or rubbing alcohol would work too. I just keep hand sanitizer in my craft room all the time because that's how I clean my blocks. And I'm going to clean it. Now it's going to clean my, my mark off probably at the same time. I don't want it to clean my mark because... If this falls, then I'm not going to be able to find it. So that's what I do. Usually, I put a black mark on it so with a uh, Sharpie. So if it happens to fall on the floor, I can find it again. So I just cleaning it on one side and then clean it on the other side. There. And when you put that in that line is gone. It's completely gone. It's not there anymore. 
there. See how shiny it is? Perfect. Okay, I got to turn my fan up. It's so hot here today. I'll stick it on medium and see how much of my paper flies away. We had to turn our air conditioning on. Last week at this time, I was sitting here with a sweatshirt on. This week, I have the air conditioning on. Summer has hit Port Alberni. Okay, so now that we have more people on there, the question I had was plaid or polka dot. I have two votes for plaid. So by the time we put this card together, we need to know plaid or polka dot. Didn't get my machine either. Holy oh, man, I'm not doing good. Just get my machine. There we are. I have another vote for plaid. Okay, so I was I was one minute late because Miss Maggie decided that we needed to have a video chat. So we did. Okay, so I'm going to take this and the Orchid Oasis ink. Let's just put that. I don't need to do anything with that. And I'm going to stamp. Mm, you know, I think that's going to be too dark. Might have to stamp that off. Um, what can I do? What can we do? What can we do? Let's see. What did I do on that one? Worked out okay. That one worked out okay. Maybe I'll use the parakeet party. Because if I put the other hello over top of that, well, I will. We won't be able to see it. Oh, Holly says plaid too. No, you see, you can't, you can't see it. Okay, I'm getting another piece of white. And I'm going to, I'm going to stamp that in parakeet party. First. So I'll just put this off to the side for now. And get my cleaner. I have to clean my stamp. Okay, parakeet party. There, that's going to work better. And now I'll take the Orchid Oasis. The other ones I use the, um, I was going to say Misty Moonlight, but that's not right. Starry Sky on. This one I'll use the Orchid Oasis. There we go. That's much better. Okay, so that's going to be cut out with, I'm using the Hippest Hippo stamp set. The Biggest Wish stamp set, the Hippo dies, st deckled rectangle dies. Man, if you don't have these, you really need to get them. I can't tell you how many times I've used these since I got them. Got the internet for a bit if it disappeared. <laughs> I'm glad you could make it, Val. And then stitch rectangles, that little tiny one. Yeah, so deckled rectangles, get them. You will not regret that decision at all. Okay, that's that. Now, this one, I have to do that on. That's the, that's the uh, leaves. This one, we need the flowers. This one... We need the water. I should be doing this right on my on my plate. So I I had to stop using my fancy um, 
magnetic plate that Stampin' Up! discontinued because Hubby tried to fix it so many times that the rubber that was in it grew and I couldn't it expanded so much that I couldn't put it through my machine anymore. Okay. This has still got pieces in it. Oh. Okay. I'm going to cut this out. That's the bathtub. And then we need the snorkel. Yep, we're on that side. Sneak the snorkel in there. And then we need the mask. So what else do we need? Snorkel and mask and water and pot, flowers, that, that. Okay, we're going to run these through the machine. You have a contraband set? Oh, throw them away, Val. Get the good ones. <laughs> I'm kidding. As long as you have something that works like that. Oh, there we go. So yesterday, our youngest grandson that lives here, so he's our mi middle grandson, invited me over for a swimming pool date. So on f Saturday, um, he said, Grandma, are you going to come and go swimming with me tomorrow? I said, yes. He said, okay, what time? So I always have to make the date so that they know I'm serious. Because if I just say, yeah, I'll come at some point, then they, they know that I'll get busy in my craft room. <laughs> so we made a date and I set it up. And then he ended up here for lunch. And at five, two minutes to, to, um, to two, I said to him, come on, it's time to go. We'll go out, go for a swim. And just as we got in the car, the alarm goes off and he's looking at me. I said, hey, that's the alarm telling me it's time to go swimming with you. So he was okay with that. Okay, getting all my pieces out here. Put them back on my. Need that one. Don't need that one. Don't need that one. Don't want to lose my snorkel. There's our mask. But I need to cut the plastic out with that one. And there's the. There's the. What's that called? A tub. This is what comes out of the mask, and I don't need that. And I didn't put any adhesive sheet on the back of that, which was really crazy. So now I'm going to have to put glue dots on it. <laughs> oh, Norma, you're funny. <sighs> yes. We're going to have hippopotamus soup. Put them in a pot. Boil them. So it would have been easier if I had to remember to put adhesive sheet on the back of that blingy paper. But I didn't. So now you'll have to wait while I get my my dots on there. Okay, I can't put it at the top of the snorkel because it's going to overhang. And I don't want it gluing where I don't want it. So did you guys have a good weekend? It was sure hot. Is it hot where you are too? It wasn't unbearably hot though. Today is the first day that... Well, it's not unbearably hot. It's like 32 or something which means that we have to put our air conditioning on. Uh-oh, don't stick to me. Friday night I spent at the local fall fairgrounds. They had a, a fair night, a vendor fair night. It was a fundraiser because one of their buildings burnt down last winter, the horse barn, and they're trying to raise money to rebuild it. Yes, it's very warm today. 
Okay, I'm going to put that away. I'm going to get this. And now I'm going to get my deckled rectangle. And we'll cut out one of these. And I'm going to cut out this on my plastic sheet. Get those on the machine. And run that through. Had to come home from the river after dinner. It was too hot. Oh, I bet it was. Do you have air conditioning, Norma? I made Ted check the the forecast for Quinell for the next couple of weeks. We two weeks. Uh oh. I'm busy nattering and I lost. Oh no. Oh, there it is. Don't worry about it. Oh. I lost I lost the mask. <laughs> it fell on the floor. So for this, I don't need this piece. I just need the inside piece. Okay. So we can get rid of that. I'll put that guy away. There's the decal. Hey, Carol, welcome. Welcome, so lovely to see you. Hi, Connie. So glad you guys can join us. Okay, so I'm inking up the hippopotamus. I'm going to have to do one in orange for our our northern son. He has a, a tattoo of an orange hippopotamus. There we go. And we'll stamp this other dude with the flower or doodat on the inside. Uh-oh. Did you see what I just did? Apparently, I'm not paying attention. I did it. I oriented it. Up and down when it should have been sideways. Okay, and then the envelope. Hi, Nancy. Only got to 80. Oh, nice. Yeah, so 32 is 64. Yeah, it was like high 80s. High 80s here today. That's done. Let's die cut this. And then I'll color him. breeze the the sun was out so it wasn't cold and there was a breeze so it wasn't warm and there was lots and lots and lots of people there which was lovely to see everybody out supporting the fall fairgrounds um unfortunately they said there was going to be food vendors there there was sort of there was a couple of vendors selling baked goods and darned if they didn't sit me right beside right beside the the cake and pie lady oh my lord that was so tough sitting there i sat there with my back to her most of the night because her stuff looked so good hubby did buy a couple of cinnamon buns from her cinnamon rolls and thankfully he went home and ate them 
so I didn't have to watch him. <laughs> and they weren't sitting there tempting me. And cupcakes, oh Lord, chocolate cupcakes. The uh, kids loved those. They loved the chocolate cupcakes. They went first. And she had loaves of bread. And the loaves of bread were $2 each. Handmade bread, fresh out of the oven that morning, for $2 a loaf. If I was eating bread, I would have bought some. But we have I haven't eaten bread in so long. enjoy her stuff and there was somebody there that had cookies too they weren't near where i was thankfully so i didn't have to worry about that and then there was one hot dog dude and holy crap he was busy there was a lineup from the minute they opened the gates right until he ran out of hot dogs at 8 30. He didn't expect it to be that busy, so he didn't bring as many as he should have. But it being the only food vendor there, he was really busy. They were like 20 deep. The guy beside me, the, the one that was the husband to the, the baker lady, he said they, um, he waited in line for 25 minutes to get his hot dog. But it looked so good. And they had, he had fried onions. So I had to sit there and smell the fried onions all night too because he was right in front of me. So I had the cake lady to the left, the hot dog dude in front of me. It was, it was sheer torture. It is a great buy on homemade bread. And they were huge loaves, too, like the regular size loaves. Been hungry for a hot dog, specifically a low-fat or fat-free Hebrew national hot dog. They don't seem to be in the stores. Oh, no. Or turkey wieners i don't like the beef ones they're too greasy for me there so i did a i did two layers on the head and the body and left one layer on the muzzle and the tummy okay so he's done now what i'm going to do is put two teeny tiny itty bitty dots of glue right in the eyeballs so i'm going to go very light, I hope. Just. And I'm avoiding the, the dots. So I'm going to see if I can get it. Can you see where I've got the glue there? Right there. Right beside his eyeballs. Now I'm going to let that dry. And then when it dries, I can put the mask on top. And you won't even be able to tell. And it holds it in there. So now I'm going to take the mask and I'm going to put it up here by my bling. Don't let me forget where it is. I may need to try a chicken or turkey. Summer will be over. And oh, no, you got to have them, Nancy. You have to have a hot dog in the summer. I'm going to buy about four packages to take north with us when we go camping. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to hot dogs. and then. I like um, Smokies too, but I only like Walmart brand Smokies because they don't have as much salt in them as the rest of them do. Okay, last chance. We have four votes for plaid and no votes for polka dot. So plaid or polka dot, last chance. Um, it doesn't really highlight the eyes, Nancy. Can you see there? 
it doesn't do anything because it goes clear. And then when I put the plastic over the top, see the plastic there? You can't even tell. Oh, I would imagine if you looked really super duper close, you could. But if you look, see, you can't even tell. You can't. Okay, not another plaid and a polka dot. And Nancy wants polka dots. So that's two polka dots and what was that? Four plaids, I think. So unfortunately, plaid one. This is plaid. I used, I used the flower one on that one and I used the polka dots on that one and I used the polka dots on that one. So we'll use the flat as requested. Back in there as the glass in the mask. That's why it looks shiny. Okay. Designer paper on. Uh, glimmer paper next. Go do a Costco run before we go away. Okay. Do you think you... <laughs> I love those. I love the hippo dies. When I cut window sheets, I use them on my table. Oh, yeah. Um, I do too. You probably missed how I do it, though. I can't. I'm looking in my garbage, but my plastic is gone. When I cut a piece that I'm going to use in a in a card, oh, there it is. I put it in my little garbage. When I cut a piece and put it in my card kit, I always put a dot on it with a Sharpie. And then if it falls on the floor, then I don't lose it. But, of course, I can't do that with, with the center. Uh, there's the center. I've just put it up here. Hopefully, it's not going to blow away in the wind. Okay, time to put this on. And I think I'm going to, this one I put the dark at the bottom. So this one I'll put the dark at the top so you can see the difference. And we'll just stick it in there in kind of a oh, jaunty angle. Oh, don't want to hang off the bottom though. Now, if you wanted, you could cut the tub out of down here at the bottom because it'll be covered up anyways but I didn't want to risk it being able to see it. So I didn't do it. Okay. There's that. Now the, the deckled one is up on dimensionals. Oh, my pieces are starting to stick. So I have to find my dimensionals. There they are. I'll get some dimensionals on here. Yeah, so I have to go do a Costco run before we go away in our trailer because I need to go and stack up, stock up on the snacks and stuff. Because we're going to be up at our son's for eight days and we're going camping in there for three days. And then... And when we camp, we're dry camping, so there's no power, no water, no sewer. You just, you're there with the services that your trailer has and hope you don't run out of water or fill up your tanks, your gray and black water tanks before you need them. <laughs> we do it once a year, so... And then we're going to go to my sister's for two days and then we're coming home. So we're making a, we're having a good vacay. All right. So this dude, his, the little glue dots are now dry. So I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive on the bottom of him, her. 
and attach to the tub like that. And then this is going to go on here like that. So I need to put adhesive on the bottom and then up, part way up. Now I did notice that those two little things didn't come out from the middle of the handles. So I'll just take those out. You're enjoying smelling your stargazer lilies that smell like Noxema. Oh, Valerie. That's imagination because stargazer lilies to me do not smell like Noxema. They smell like sewage. I have a I have a stargazer lily story. Do you want to hear it? Okay, I'm gonna put it going to put um, dimensionals on three quarters of the sentiment and then the last corner is going to get just a little bit of adhesive because it sits up on top of this one that already has already has dimensionals. So back in I think it was 2005 2005 was a big year for us because we did our first hot and sunny vacation ever we went to St. Martin. Fabulous place. If you ever get the chance to go to St. Martin, oh, please do. You will not regret that decision. So we went. We went to St. Martin. But then when we went in February or something, and then our friends said in, said in May, let's go do a repositioning cruise. So we went down to Disneyland for three days, got on the ship, and came up to Vancouver. Okay, it was a really boring, boring trip. Don't ever do that trip because you go out 200 miles, go up, and then you come in. You don't see anything but fog. Anyways, it was our first cruise. And at that point, our son, Phil, was working with Princess Cruise Lines over in Australia. He w He's a marine engineer, and he was working on one of the ships over there. So he got a hold of the purser on the ship that we were going to be on and said, hey, my parents are coming and it's their first cruise and could you make it a little special for them? And so we arrived and there was champagne and there was flowers and there was hors d'oeuvres, like real hors d'oeuvres with caviar and everything on it. It was absolutely phen phenomenal. But being our first cruise, we knew nothing. So we just booked an inside cabin because we didn't know any different, right? Yeah, don't ever do that. And don't ever do it with stargazer lilies because there's no air circulation. There's no window. And I kept smelling this weird smell like, how can this ship smell like sewage? I don't get it. Then it dawned on me, it was the gate stargazer lilies. It wasn't the ship. It was awful. We got rid of those. We took the lilies out, solved the problem. Okay, back to our regularly scheduled program. That's my stargazer lily story. Okay, we're going to put the mask on. Plastic. Put it inside the mask and push it down. And there it is. It's there. See? It's not going anywhere because it's attached to those glue dots. You can't even tell. Okay. Snorkel. Un, un snorkel. Right there. The flower stem. Right here, one flower, two flowers, the water splashes. See, when you get all this stuff cut and glue on the back of them, the card goes together really fast. Look at that. What do you think? Oh, I haven't put the bling on yet. He is cute. He is cute.
put the coordinating in color dots on there. There we go. Now we just have to color and put the inside piece in. So let's just give this a color. Did I color? Oh, I didn't, I didn't color them, but I'm going to color this one because we got time. It's only quarter two. So since that cruise in 2005, we've taken a few cruises. Um, I've done Alaska three times. And I know, Carol, if you're still there, um, you just got back from an Alaska cruise. So thank you for sharing all those pictures because they brought back some really fond memories for me. I took my mom. Um, my mom passed away. Uh, 10 years ago now. And she had dementia. And before she got too far into it, she wanted to go on an Alaska cruise. So I said, Mom, I will take you. You can pay. <laughs> you pay for the trip. I'll pay for the excursions. But we need to get a balcony. I'm not going to go on an inside cabin again because I knew that she would much prefer a balcony and having some place to go back to just to be quiet and have some reflective time because she was starting to get quite confused at that point. So that was the first one we went on and that was in September and it was very hot in Alaska in September. And everybody says, oh, you'll be fine. It's not hot in September in Alaska. Yes, it was hot in September in Alaska. Then Ted and I decided that we were going to go a couple of years later. And we booked in May. Thinking, well, it's the first cruise of the year, so it won't be, they won't be too busy up there. And it won't be too hot. Yeah, it was. It was 30 degrees in May in Alaska. That usually doesn't happen. But, you know, the mullets were there, so that's why it happened. Then, of course, I did the stamping up one. I think that was five years ago. And it was in July. And it was beyond hot. Oh, good. I'm glad you had a good time, Carol. Yeah, it's it's an amazing trip. And if any and if you ever get a chance to do it, do it. Valerie got an uncancelled envelope today from a great dealer. <laughs> I wonder who that is. You're very welcome. Valerie sends me her car, her envelopes back, the ones that the stamps don't get cancelled, and I recycle them. I reuse the the stamp. Shh, don't tell Canada Post. Okay. There. Now, I'm going to use. Valerie's been on one cruise to Alaska and loved it. Didn't do any excursions, just wandered to towns. Yeah. Well, we did the. Mom and I did the train. I think it's in Skagway. Because she really, she loved. My grandpa used to work on the trains. So she really wanted to do that. And then when Ted and I went, he decided that we were going to go and do the all-day excursion on the train. And that was really fun. So we, we went up the hill on the train, up the mountain, and then they take you off. They put you in a bus, and they bus you to Fraser, B.C., which was kind of cool because there we were back in Canada, and our cell phones were working again, so we got to call everybody. And then you get lunch there and then you get back in the bus and they take you to Car Cross Yukon. Car Cross stands for Caribou Crossing and there's lots of those up there. And we got to get out and wander around in the heat. And then you get back in the bus and they take you back down the hill to the ship. And um, I slept all the way back down. <laughs> I was so tired. and. Oh, I forgot to put this in. We never did see 
any wildlife besides the ones that were in captivity and one rabbit the whole trip. Five-day cruise? Ah, yeah. Mine have all been seven-day cruises. And then, of course, I did the the Greek cruise. Mm. Three years ago now, when we did our trip across Rome. That was the one I earned from Stampin' Up. What do you think? Which one do you like best? Which one? What color is your favorite? Do you have a favorite of the new ink colors? I like this one. I love Parakeet Party. I think it is my favorite. Oh, I was supposed to do that draw. Oh, Lordy. That's what I was supposed to do while before Maggie. Um, before Maggie phoned, I was doing my, my draw. So just let me go over and capture the names. That's last week's. Oh, oh, Lord. I just had a card fall. Mm, share it Saturday, July the 16th. There we are. Okay, let me get my, get a piece of paper. Write down the names. Uh-huh. Sorry, I'm not watching comments right now. We have Janet L. And then we have Val. And then we have Diane Inkster. And then we have Connie. And then Connie again. And Connie again. See, if you do show more than one card, you get more than one entry. Oh, oh and guess what? Connie again. Connie, you got a really good chance. Okay. Hey. Now, oh. let's use my random number generator. Where is it? Oh, maybe I didn't load it in here after I got my new one. Oh, gosh. Hang on. Random number generator. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Start at one. Go to seven. And I'm just going to you have no life. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm going back up here. Five day cruise. Norma's been on two cruises to Alaska. First one we froze, but had an amazing hot chocolate with Bailey's window. <gasps> hot chocolate with Bailey's. Ooh. And a window cabin. The second one was hot and the balcony was great. Valerie likes Parakeet Party. Janet likes Parakeet Party. Nancy likes Orchid Oasis. And for this card, she likes the Tahitian Tide one. And Holly likes Tahitian Tide. And Norma likes Orchid Oasis. And Connie says, you can tell I have no life. <laughs> Okay, I got my random number generator set up here. It's different. I don't have time to put all the names in the wheel, but I have this random number generator. You see it there? I have seven entries. Starts at one and goes to seven, and it's going to pick a winner. And the winner is six. Can you see that over there on the left-hand side? Number six. Guess who it is? Connie. Yee, Connie is the winner. Congratulations, Connie. And thank you for sharing all your wonderful cards. I appreciate it. Okay, just flip this back over here so I can say good night. Yes, congratulations, Connie. I'll get a card off to you as soon as I can. I might even send you one of these. One of these. Because <laughs> I have five of them. Yay. All right. Well, ladies, I think that's it. What have I got in my calendar this week? Let's let's look and see 
what I have going on this week. Um, nothing until Thursday night. I won't be back till Thursday night. I have stuff going on, but I won't be. I'm not going to be live until Thursday night. Let's just move this out of the way. I can't turn it off because then I'll lose my sound. So Thursday night. Oh, we're going to have a splendid time. Wait till you see the posts that are happening that day. <laughs> it's splendiferous. All right. Um. So I am looking for somebody to be to host an online party either this week or next week. You don't have to do anything except invite people to my VIP group. We're going to hold the we're going to hold the party in my VIP group. So one person will be the hostess and get all the hostess rewards. You can bring as many people into the VIP group as you want. People in the VIP group are welcome to order for the party as well. And then the hostess is going to get all the hostess rewards. So if anybody's interested in doing that, Valerie, Norma, anybody, Holly, Janet, anybody else out there? Unfortunately, I can only do it in Canada. So Connie and Nancy and um, Carol, I'm sorry. But you can watch. You can play along. Okay, so let me know. I'm I'm just working on the script now. So what it is, is I go, I do a live presentation. In, it's going to three days. You'll have your opening day. You'll have the day I do the presentation and the live stamping and then a closing day. There's a hostess code. People can order through me or you can order with the hostess code. And I'm going to have different posts up, hopefully some funny stuff and hopefully some not so funny stuff, <laughs> serious stuff, just kind of things out of the catalog that are my favorite. And whoever the hostess is will get to pick a couple of favorite things, too, that she can ask me to uh, spotlight. And we'll go from there. So I want it either this week or next week, because then the following week I'm off to Quinell for my, our vacation and I can't do it then. So let me know. Send me an email or message or a message and let me know. And otherwise, have a wonderful rest of your week. And I hope you don't get too hot. And I'll see you soon in my craft room. Stamp and smiles. Bye for now. <laughs>